Right, I'm sorry about the lack of content on this channel recently. There just hasn't been anything to talk about. After um, playing Resident Evil 4 to death, it was just kind of like, I don't know, needed a break from games in a way. So um, I went back and played some old school games. And a game that I went back and played, funnily enough, was the original Alan Wake. Um, I went back and I played through Alan Wake. And it was like I rediscovered it. It was. It was like I knew it was good. I always liked it, I've always liked it, played about on the 360, loved it, I love it even more now, I was just like, this game is aged so well, and the remaster's great, and I was just like, this is such a good time, and then I was thinking to myself, I was just like, I wonder who's going to show off Alan Way 2, because there's rumours about it coming out in October, and I was like, who's going to show it, like, which one of them's going to do it, I did not expect PlayStation to be the one to do that, but they just dropped a new trailer, and it looks unreal. It does. This looks like some next gen quality horror gaming. Now, they did say they were going to lean into the horror aspect of Alan Wake. Alan Wake's always, always had horror, but it was like an action horror game. Like, say, like Resident Evil 4, your Dead Space games, something like that. Um, so it was like an atmospheric shooter. Then with Alan Wake 2. They said they were going to do survival horror. Now, I don't believe that. Just so we're clear, there's a, there's a style that survival horror is. A lot of companies call the game survival horror, and half the time they're just an action horror. They're not a survival horror. There's, there's levels to this. I still don't believe that this is a survival horror experience. I believe this is an action horror experience. I do, but I feel like they've leaned into the horror, which is always a good thing. The more atmosphere, the more scares, the better. Just let me fight back. That's all I ask. My favourite genre. Um, and I expected Alan Wake 2 to show up and be like, it's, you know, it's good again, but, like, it's just Alan Wake. It's a sequel to Alan Wake. This looks phenomenal. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to come out phenomenal. It could, it could completely shit the bed. But just from this trailer, this is just like, holy shit. The atmosphere is up. The graphics, insane. The kickback on the shotgun uh, that you see. The enemy variety, a uh, big complaint with the first Alan Wake was always its enemy variety. Um, it still seems like you're fighting shadows, so it's like you've got to like lower the, the, get the shadow off them with the torch, and then you open fire, which is great, because you don't want to remove that mechanic, because if you remove it, you're not Alan Wake, essentially, you're just another third person shooter, which you really don't want to do. But just production quality wise, this looks so fucking good. I am... My jaw is on the floor. And it's coming out this year, October 17th. I can not wait. I hope that doesn't get delayed. I hope that's set in stone. I am ready. I can't believe this looks as good as it does. It looks so good. I mean, he looks like John Wick now. Can we all agree that Alan Wake looks like John Wick? That's Keanu. Can we have Keanu Reeves play... Um, Alan Wake in the movie. I know they're doing a TV show, aren't they? Lines up. Just give him a call. I don't know if he could pull it off acting-wise, you know, but he's definitely got the looks. But seriously, this looks insane. It looks so, so good. But anyway, I've been doing a little bit of digging, um, and I found this post, um, which is some questions they've been asking about Alan Wake, right? So we're just going to go over a few of them. Um, there's something in here that I think is going to piss some people off. I do. Um, not me personally, but we'll get into it. Right, so... The first question was just, what's the release date? We don't need to get into that. I've just said the 17th of October. Uh, what platforms is Alan Wake 2 releasing on? It's PC through the Epic Game Store. Epic Games is funding this, so it does make sense. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, right? Which, I mean, we all know this. What's the story of Alan Wake 2? Um, Saga Anderson, an FBI profiler with a reputation for solving uns unsolvable cases, arrives in Bright Falls to investigate a string of ritualistic murders. The case slides into a nightmare when Anderson discovers pages of a horror story, a horror story that starts to come true. Hmm, so I'm guessing we're going to be being this Anderson, which you saw in the gameplay, which is the uh, the cop, the female cop. Uh, Alan Wake 
A lost writer trapped in a nightmare prison beyond our world writes a dark story to shape reality in a desperate bid to escape. Hunted by an insatiable horror, Wake struggles to retain his sanity and beat the devil at his own game. Not sure what that's getting at. So I'm guessing we're controlling both characters. Um, Anderson's going to clearly be investigating where, why these pages are explaining exactly what's happening. And Alan's writing these pages trying to bend reality so he can get out of where he is. Which makes sense because, I mean, if you've played the first game, you know where that's coming from. Anderson and Wake, two heroes on two desperate journeys, two separate realities, connected in ways neither of them can understand. Echoes become reflections, reflections that can reach out to each other, trapped in a horror story where there are only victims and monsters. Can they break out to be the heroes they need to be? I mean, it sounds intriguing, and if you've played the original Alan Wake, story was phenomenal. There was a lot of questions with Alan Wake. When you play Alan Wake, some of it is like, you'll be talking with other people, trying to understand what the hell happened in the first Alan Wake, because it's just kind of like, wait, did Alan make that guy up? Did that guy make Alan up? Is Alan not really real? Where does this clicker come from? Is Thomas Zane actually Alan's dad? No, that can't be true. That doesn't make sense. It, there's so many questions with the original Alan Wake. It's such a good story. It's it's like top tier video game storytelling. I love stuff like that where I don't 100% understand it. But you talk to a few people, you come up with some theories and you've got yourself like... You just, you'll just be talking about Alan Wake for like years to come. But I mean, when sequels come out, they answer questions. So maybe we won't be talking about the first Alan Wake for too much longer. But it sounds like we've got another good story on our hand. Um, it says, do you have to play the original Alan Wake to fully understand Alan Wake 2? Now, I'd say yes, personally, but PR is going to say no here. See, Alan Wake 2 is a sequel, but it's set up as a standalone experience. Newcomers can enjoy the thrill, thrill ride with no past knowledge of previous games for the returning fans. There's tons of lore and connections to be discovered. That's basically just like, no, nah, no, nah, you don't really need it. We need your money, though, so buy the game. Listen, you need to play the first Alan Wake. Don't listen to that. There's no way in hell you'll even understand what the hell's going on. You need to know why Alan is trapped in a room writing. Being able to bend reality by writing, you need to play the first game. You do. Um, do you have to play Control or Control AWE expansion to better understand Alan Wake 2? No, you do not. However, for fans who are into the universe of Alan Wake, it's definitely recommended, but it's completely optional. That's because that technically is optional. You just need to know that Alan Wake and Control are connected. You don't need to play Control to get the story of what the hell is happening with Alan in Alan's world. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like you don't need... Then again, it's not really... When you watch these Marvel movies and like you watch like Iron Man 2 and there's something that happened in Thor between Iron Man 1 and 2. and You know what I mean? It's It gets a bit muddy with these multi-connected like games. Well, movies, but now it's doing it games. Um, I'm not really sure where I would stand on that. Maybe, I guess it depends on how much you care if you want to do control. But I would definitely say you need to play Alan Wake 1. I disagree with them saying you don't need to. You definitely should. Um, this is the bit that's going to piss people off. You're getting ready. It doesn't annoy me. I've already made the jump to what they're talking about here. But it is going to annoy people. So, um, puck of that arsehole. There are many reasons for this. They're talking about going digital only you heard that right no physical copy of this game is going to exist day one right <laughs> there are many reasons for this for one a large number have shifted to digital only you can buy a sony playstation 5 without a disk drive a microsoft xbox series s it's digital only console it's not uncommon to release modern games as digital only secondly not releasing a disc helps keep the price of the game at now this is basically like 50 pounds for me fifty dollars it's fifty this game isn't 70 i would gladly pay 70 for this just so clear i've paid one game i've bought for 70 that was dead space i do not agree with games being more than 50 never agree with it but i do some games i just have to play them day one i bought dead space remake day one because it was like i need to i need to experience it myself this right here what i'm seeing right here what i'm way to 100 percent, i would have paid the 70 regardless if it was digital only i don't care but 
the fact that they're keeping the price down by keeping it digital only works for me get rid of physical copies i know some of you are going to be like whoa 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 shut the fuck up glenn i need that physical copy and i get it i really do but this really doesn't bother me but i can definitely see this backfiring on them to be honest this is going to piss a lot of people off they need to be careful with this um at least I think they need to be careful with it. I'm not really too sure. Finally, we do not want to ship a disc product and have it require a download for the game. We do not think this would make for a great experience either. So what they're saying is, if they did release it physically, you wouldn't even have all the data on the disc anyway. So it's essentially a coaster. Do I believe that to be true? Mm, I don't know about that. Like. How many games do you see where they require a download? There's not many. There's like Call of Duty requires you to download half the campaign. Um, that's the only game I can think of off the top of my head that does the whole like physical physical disc ba basically being a coaster. Is there a disc based version of Alan Wake 2 in the works? There are currently no plans to release Alan Wake 2 on disc. Now it doesn't mean they're not going to if you notice this. I think this is a way of getting fans to double dip. Will I double dip? Absolutely. As long as the game's good of course. If I buy it digitally and the game sucks... I'm not going to buy a physical copy of a game I don't like. But from what I'm seeing, from what I'm reading, this sounds like it's going to be, um, damn. How is this coming out this year? A Dead Space remake, Resident Evil 4, and then Alan Wake 2 in October. Sweet baby Jesus. Right, so, um, what versions of Alan Wake 2 will be available? Standard edition is just Alan Wake 2 digital based game. And it's literally 50. That's crazy to me that. Fi 40 on PC? What? Why is it only 40 on PC? Mother f You. I'm not going to buy it on PC. Then again, my PC probably could run it. Um, if I did a few upgrades, my PC probably can't run that. I'm not going to do it. I'll get it on console first. I don't... You know what? I really wish it was on Steam. I hate Epic Store. I'm not saying I wouldn't use it. I just... I like my library in one place. It's irritating. Um, Deluxe Edition includes Alan Wake 2, digital base game, blah, blah, blah. And the following exclusive content. You get the Expansion Pass, which has uh, Night Springs Expansion and the Lake House Expansion. So we're getting two expansion, story expansions of Alan Wake 2. That's good because the original had that too. Nordic shotgun skin for uh, Saga. Hope I'm saying her name right. Saga? It must be. It's spelt Saga. Cigar? I don't know. Part of the expansion pass. Uh, Parliament shotgun skin for Alan. Crimson windbreaker for Saga. So basically, celebrity suit for Alan. Uh, lantern charm. So it's basically like some cosmetic skin stuff. And you get an expansion pass. Um, where's the price on this? Okay, so with the expansion pass, it's 65 for me. 65 quid. You've got 80, 80 dollars, 80 euro, 65. You know what? No complaints. That price is real fucking nice. That's basically the 70, but I get the season pass as well. That works. That works for me. I like that. I like that remedy. Keep that up. We want more of that. Um, if you pre-order the standard or the deluxe edition you will get the following digital pre-order items um, you get a revolver skin survival resources pack right hang on let's have a look at this crimson windbreaker for saga celebrity suit lantern charm why does she get survival resources pack and Alan gets a, a revolver. I'm wondering this. Is it going to split it up? Is she going to be more like survival horror game playing Alan and will be shooting most of it? I wonder. I wonder how they're doing this. Um, and then there's languages. Which is like what languages it will support. Which is English, French, German. Uh, Spanish, Japanese, blah, blah, blah. Italian. It's all subtitles and stuff. Basically just generic stuff. But um, I'm kind of wondering... How this is gonna pan out because it doesn't like there's no physical um 
There's people saying I'm not going to buy it. No, no game disc not buying it. Um, yeah, they're saying we don't want it. Now there's a few here who buys discs in 2023. <laughs> um, you know what? If it keeps costs down, I just don't care. My my library's gone digital anyway. I really, really don't care. I don't. I know some people are going to be really pissed about that, but Alan Wake too. Oh man, it looks so good. The trailer looks so good. The atmosphere is thick. Look at it. Fucking look at it. That is so good. I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. Um, do you just care about Alan Wake? If you do, you know what. I'm flying through Alan Wake's like achievement list on the 360 version and the remaster, believe it or not. If you want a video on me talking about Alan Wake, I'll gladly do it. I will, but um, I'm not sure how many people will really give a shit about a video like that. Because, I mean, Alan Wake came out, what, fucking 10 years ago now? It's fucking 10 years. It's like 13 years, isn't it? Didn't Alan Wake come out 2010 or something? Something like that. Anyway, it's not the point. This looks phenomenal. Game of the Year is not decided yet, apparently. Alan Wake 2 is coming for Resident Evil 4's crown. Let's see if it can get it. It's a tough one. It's a tough one to take. Remake. I loved Remake. I did, but... I would be lying if I didn't think this looked fucking amazing. Anyway, people. Let me know what you think about Alan Wake 2. That's all I got. I'll catch you later.